Hey, it's Coach Chantel here, living the laptop lifestyle. Guys, so the funniest thing happened to me the other day when I was at the grocery store. This 75-year-old man tried to talk to me. And it wasn't a matter of his age, we'll say that. It was just a matter of his certainty that he could actually get me. That's what really, really blew me. <laughs> it was the funniest thing because I was not expecting it. Like, basically, I was at a grocery store and he was behind me in the checkout line. And I'm getting my groceries and, you know, just observing of my surroundings. So I just happen to look at him. It's 9 o'clock in the morning, you know. You just happen to look at someone. <laughs> so I go and uh, put my groceries in the car. And then all of a sudden, I see this guy, like, waving, hey, 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 hey. And I look, like, okay, what's going on? Like, did I leave my purse or something in the grocery store? So anyway, he comes and he's like, yeah, uh, I was trying to catch up with you. So now I'm super suspicious, like, okay, why were you trying to catch up with me? Like, I don't know this guy from Adam. So he's like, yeah, you know, uh, I was in the grocery store and I, I, I saw you and I uh, just wanted to, to stop and, and, and say and speak to you. And I was thinking, okay, well, this is nice. You know, in 2014, people are usually so interested in their phones and not other people. So, you know, maybe he genuinely wants to speak. And then I also thought, like, maybe he's in network marketing. So let me be, let me be nice to this man. So... Um, I was like, okay, hi, you know, it's great to hear from you. You know, people don't normally speak these days, so it's really refreshing to hear from you. So about two minutes into the conversation, I noticed out of the corner of my eye that his cart is, is just moving by itself and it's about to run into my, my, uh, my, uh, my car. And I'm like, wait, <laughs> so he's talking to me and I'm like, hey, your car, your car. And I can't, you know, interrupt him because he just doesn't even like is giving me like a word in edgewise. So I'm like trying to be polite, but at the same time I see him about to hit uh, my, my BMW. So I'm like, no, your, your car, your car is about to hit my car. And so I, I yes, he just didn't pick up on it. So the car actually hit my car. So that kind of, it was funny. It wasn't that bad. It was like a little small, small car. So it wasn't bad, but um, it was more funny than anything. So anyway, he talks to me, tries to like get me to go out with for some wine and, and some music. I was like, no, uh, you know what? I wish my mom was here because maybe she would be interested in that. Without hurting a man's feelings, I tried to give him some hope, just not with me. So I told him that. He's like, oh, well, you know, you must have saw the gray whiskers in my beard, and that's what made you think that I would want to date your mom. And I was like, you have no hair, man. Like, come on. I know that you're, you're – Three times my age. Come on, like, really? So it was just hilarious. Um, so but the lesson that I learned from that experience um, was that you got to have a super ordinate confidence level, okay? There are going to be some challenges in this world that will require you to have the presence of self enough to really go out and attack those things head on. If you don't believe in yourself, no one else will. Uh, I, we just had a really powerful coaching session a couple of um, minutes ago, and the gentleman was talking about, he used the analogy of, of um, what's his name, um, Muhammad Ali. And he said that Muhammad Ali thought he was the greatest. He knew he was the greatest. And every single time he got in the ring, his opponent knew he was going to kick his butt. Why? Because Muhammad Ali had first convinced himself that he was unstoppable, that he was the best and the greatest. And guess what? That energy, that belief level translated to everyone that he was about to fight. And guess what? He won. <laughs> so before the world believes you guys, you got to believe yourself, okay? It's very important that you have an unshakable amount of confidence. And confidence isn't born from conceit. Good confidence isn't born from conceit. There is some. Com there are some confident people who are conceited. But guys, confidence that I'm encouraging you to have is born from the God within you, that light that shines within you, it's not something that you have developed by yourself. It's something that God has blessed you with. So use that type of confidence to impact the world. Because when you show up and show out, you inspire other people to show up and show out. And we need so many more of you around doing that very thing, okay? So with that, guys, have a wonderful day. Uh, be sure to like, share, and comment on this video if it inspired you in any way. And guys, I look forward to seeing you at the top, not from the top, living the laptop lifestyle. Take care.